because the goal of the downline was just to have the upline become gold. And although I appreciate that when you hear people saying upline to tulungan ka natin mag-gold, sa totoo lang ang dapat mong tulungan yung sarili mong mag-gold. Yan na may pag-gold. Hindi nakikialaman mo yung upline mo, di ba? Kasi kahit mawala ka naman, your upline will still, can still become gold by looking for someone else, di ba? So find your own business, di ba? The upline kasi papag-gold kita. So someone told that, someone said that to me before, di ba? Upline, Sabi ko, ang lahat magrurubi ka dahil sa akin. And sabi ko, well, obviously you don't know the poem plan. Because hindi mo ako kaya ni parubi. Kasi para magrubi ako, I need three lines. You're just one person. You cannot be three lines. <laughs> diba? So I don't feel good when you say that because it means you don't know the poem plan. So parang I'm like an incompetent upline who just breathed a downline who knows nothing. Diba? So if you feel na I was gonna feel good about what you said, lalo lang akong nagbanas <laughs> sa iyo. Diba? So malamang sabi niya, asshole talaga yung apply ko. <laughs> And then by end, I'm like, inutil ka naman. <laughs> inutil ka. Asshole, asshole. Inutil ka. So the goal is really not your, your apply, it's not your goal. Your goal is you. Your goal is you. Not even your downlines. Diba? Your goal is you. And then the next goal is to make your downlines hit whatever you can, di ba? 
So, first of all, sige mga bago dito. Okay. Uh, can you raise your hands kung wala pang 3 months? Raise your hands, wala pang 3 months. Ang bago siya naman yung pala rin. Okay. So, kunyari na lang mabait ako. Rewind, rewind. Hi, guys! <laughs> So, who among you here is currently employed? You're working. You also you have a job and you're doing this on, uh, on the side. Can you raise your hand? Okay. My first tip is don't resign from your job until you have a really good income and a big organization and savings in the bank that will last you siguro for a year. Kasi yung sana can be done part-time. Sino dito yung full-time na naging yung sana? Taas ang tamay. Full-time. Ah, full-time pero more than one year na kayo. Full-time but more than one year. Taas ang tamay. Ano, tayo, tayo. Full-time more than one year. Full-time umami na. I can see you. Kilala ko dito yung mga medyo matagal-tagal na. Sige, pag hindi kayo umami, mamalasin kayo for 25 years. Baka 50 years na yung sana doon lang kayo magta-take off, di ba? Para bakit si 25 years na builder ka pa rin? Kasi hindi ako tumayo. <laughs> okay. So sa mga nakatayo, you're full-time, more than one year na kayo nag-iusama. Sino sa inyo dito ang gold and above? Upo. Gold and above, upo. Di ba you so want to sit down right now? Di ba? Para, um, so, ito full-time. Hindi pa ito mga gold. Di ba? So, Kung titignan mo, ang concept kasi is if you're full-time, mas mabilis mo ma-hit. In reality, it's not. So some people become gold, some people don't, di ba? Kailan kayong mag-gold? Ngayon, nakatingin na rin lang naman lahat ng tao sa inyo at wala na kayong choice. Saka tayo na kayo, di ba? Kailan mo nakikita mag-gold or gusto mo bang mag-gold? Kasi pwede namang ayaw. Pwede gold, yuck! <laughs> pwede namang gano'n. Ayaw ka mag gold yuck. Yayabang lang ako. Kailan ka mag-gold? Isang account pa kayong dalawa. Kaya lang kayong mag-gold. Ngayon, dalawa pa naman din kayong nagtatrabaho pa lang ng full-time, di ba? Kaya lang kayong mag-gold. August 12th. August 12th. August 2017. Pag hindi kayo nag-gold, anong pwede yung consequence natin dyan? Magkano income ninyo nung April? Seventy. Pag nag-gold kayo, that's roughly 180. Less the tax. So which means that hindi kayo gold, mamawalan kayo ng 110,000 bond bonds. So ganito, pag hindi kayo nag-gold by the end of August 2017, 110,000 yung you'll buy in your summer. Malino ba yun? O pwede nyo bakuhin, you can say September or October. Ano? Ano? Kaya nyo? Talaga? Witness kayo guys ha? Yes! 110. Wow! Sushare naman natin yun eh. Gulipi ko yung ano. Paparaful ko yung sampung, sampung pwedeng manalo ng ano. Yung dinner sa tapaki. Ano mong papigay ko lahat? Hindi mo kayo kumustahan. So 110,000. Wow! E pagpipray ko lang makuha ninyo yung gold sa September. Para pareho tayong panalo. Diba? May income kayo, may 110. Sige, ito naman ang deal. Pag nakuha ninyo yun, I'll, uh, isang session with me. I'll be, I'll go set for three minutes na naman yun. Diba, tatanoy ko lang sila, di ba? Kasi yung mga imaman, yes, pray natin yun. And then, let's see. 110K, ha, if you don't hit it. Narinig nyo yun, ha? Oh, but when you hit it, let's have a session with your downline so we can develop the next goal. Kayo naman, si Kela. One account pa kayo? Wow, parang ano? Parang matagalit pa kayo? Kela ka mag-goal? Same deal. Game ka? Ikaw? August din? 
Bakit all ghost? Ano meron sa all ghost? Ghost man. Para ito yung ko, di ba? Para ito yung ko. Okay, that's amazing, di ba? What about you? June 24. June 24. Malapit na yun. So are you parang ready to run already with your team? Okay, that's good, that's good. How many lines do you have? Four lines. Ilang tao na matino? No, because sometimes binibira ninyo kahit kayo mga two years na hindi active, one year. Actually, meron akong 80 people in my team. Sa genealogy, 80 people, but you don't count that. Diba? You count people who are actively doing the business, diba? So how many? Four lang and four lines. Yeah, you have to spend more time this May building support. EPS mode. Are you sure kaya mo yung pustayan? 100k? May pecha ka pa namang nilagay pa. June 24! Ang tingnan nila na. Ito so sigurado ko. Pwede mong baguhin, pwede ka rin makiobos. Pero 110, and I'm not joking ha. Because I think that money, I need to furnish my new condo by the end of the year. Ano rin yun? It's one big wide screen, di ba? 100,000. Di ba? Or dalawang daang pinggan. Di ba? Para ay tapos ako kaya. Kailan? Good luck to you, ha? June 24. Good luck to you. Kailan? June 30. Downline mo ba siya? Downline mo ba siya? Ay, ikaw yung upline. June 24 din. Isang account lang ba kayo? Upline din. Wow, no? Kung the downline was the one who motivated the upline na parang pag hindi kayo nag-goal mo, nakuha kayo yung trapo. Yan wala pa no? It's, di ba, it's builder, believer, sharer, believer, builder, achiever, director, bronze. There's no trapo. Di ba? There's no trapo doon. Ganun ang magiging tsura mo pag nag-goal itong downline mo tapos ikaw hindi. Parang, Iyo, what kind of an upline are you? Di ba? Parang ganun. Okay, so pag hindi mo na hit 110, plus kahihiyan. Di ba, mas mahal yun, actually, di ba? What about you? Pag June 24, anong araw ba June 24? Frontier day ba yun? Parang pag June 24, may tao ka na ba sa inali mo? Na gumagalaw talaga, na matino? For your downlines. Who are your downlines? Ilang lines yan? Hmm, mati mo. Kailangan mo pa rin mag-build ng isa pa. Ito nga, June 21st far, mukhang marami akong makukubra dito. Oh my God! Wow, di ba? Around the world. Ikaw, when? July. End of July. End of July. End of July. Pag hindi nyo na-hit, kasama kayo sa pustahan. Kasama kayo sa pustahan. Ikaw. Isang account lang ba kayo? July, end of July. End of July goal. Wow! Well, let's all pray na ma-hit nila lahat yung targets nila, okay? Kahit naman wala na ako, kahit naman wala ang penalty, masaya naman ako nun. Or at least kahit na dalawa lang sa kanila ang hindi maka-hit man lang, di ba? Parang fun pa rin. Let's give a hand to all of these guys. Thank you. Teka, nakatuyo ka ba yung sa likod? Were you standing up also for mag-goal? Ang hindi may tinitingan ka lang. Kasi kasi apara ko umuko siya, hindi ko malang natawag. So I wanted to call him, di ba? Okay, now why am I asking that? Kung kailan ka mag-goal, when are you gonna hit that? Kasi the reason why you're doing this, Anna, I'm sure is income, correct? Correct? Yes. Okay. So if you're doing it for the income, I don't get it why you're gonna stay here for like a year and you're just a builder. Tapos you want income. Diba? This is a business, so that means you're gonna have to work it. Diba? Hindi pwedeng pala yan, gusto mo maging farmer, kumita ka, gusto mo kumita sa, sa negosyo ng palay, tapos bibili ka lang ng lote. Diba? Bumili ka ng tatlong hektare ang pataniman. Pero wala ka namang gagawin. Diba? Hindi yan yung pwedeng bumili ka ng tatlong hektare, tapos pinasabuyan mo lang ng ng palay, and then babalik ka after four months and say, ay, ba't wala akong harvest? You don't wanna do that. So if you wanna do business, please bear in mind, you really have to work. And it's really hard work. Because if you're currently employed, and it's also hard work. 
maybe not very hard kasi matagal mo na siyang ginagawa and it's kind of routine. So that means, minsan, you know what I mean, na hindi na iniisip, alam mo na yung trabaho mo sa, sa, sa office. So without thinking, because it's already routine, it's automatic, di ba? No, yun lang parati yung trabaho mo. Dati iniisip mo pa, ngayon hindi na. It's just, saan? Share value? Store value? Magkano? 300? Oh, dati hindi eh. 300? <laughs> 100 suple. Next. O, oh, dati ganun eh, di ba? Ngayon nee, hindi na eh. Galing-galing mo na eh. Saan? Magkano? 300? Tapos doon, magkano? Hindi ba? Parang wow, parang your mom is getting so proud of you. Na, anak, grabe, galing-galing mo lang talaga. Mulok, di ba? Nagsusukli ka, mulok, di ba? Galing. Tapos masay, alam mo na kung saan ipapasok yung card, di ba? So, hindi na siya mahirap, pero it's still physically difficult because you still have to show up, di ba? Papasok ka pa rin, you still have to stand up there for 8 hours. It's still the same. Ngayon, magiging sana ka, number one, hindi pwedeng walang effort. The effort even has to be maybe three times harder than you're what you're doing in your jobs. Kasi sabi mo, dito gusto mong kumita 100,000, 200,000. Ang sweldo mo, 15,000, 25,000, 30,000. So pag kinanalyze mo yun, di ba? You're doing a job that pays 30K. You're working for nine hours a day. You want to make 100,000 sa iyo sana, or 50 sa iyo sana. It's common sense that you should be spending at least the same amount of energy that you're spending with your with your work. Do you agree? Yes. Hey, hindi ba sasabi, hindi kaya nga ako nag-isa na para mag-leverage. But the leverage, uh, the, the benefit that you get from leverage only happens when you already have a team. And from no team to having a team, that's where the hard work comes in. There's really a lot of effort that you have to put in. Now, first, you want income. Now, why do you need your income? It's for two things. It's for your needs and your wants. Nababasa niyo ba ito from there? Yes. Kayo, from there. Nababasa niyo ito. Okay, so ano yung mga needs mo, di ba? Yeah, food, yeah, shelter, <laughs> clothing, dance po, yeah. at marami pa, and etc. Et so you have your basic needs. Magkano ang basic needs natin? Sabi ng Neda, if you have, sino dito ang single, nasang kamay? I'll stay single for the next five years para walang sagabal. Yes. Di ba? Kasi pag pumasok na yung girlfriend, boyfriend, tapos sabi niya, well, you're spending more time with you sana than me. Magpakasal ka na kaya sa iyo sana. Malamang, get out. <laughs> Di ba? Party out yung mo. Saan ka lang ba dati? Nung makilala kita. Di ba? Tapos may makikikain ka ng essentials kung dami mo mo. Di ba? Number one na panira, yung nag-iusahan ka, and then biglang papasok ka sa relationship, you cannot serve two masters at the same time. I'm not kidding. Kaya lang ka pwede mag-shota-shota. Pag kumikita ka na ng malaki, you're the diamond director, you've trained your downlines already, maybe you have a couple of days off in a week because, you know, you already have a big organization making money, then maybe you can venture into a relationship. But I'm feeling ko it's not fair to have a relationship, tapos you want your usahan of business to succeed. Di pinapayaan mo rin yung isa. Tapos magagalit ka, I heard you're, you, I heard you're, you know, you're dating someone else. O, tapos ano sabi niya sa'yo? Eh lalo na ikaw, health and freedom ka lang, health and freedom ng mga downlines mo kaya. Sino nag health and freedom ng alas dos ng madaling araw? Ay, yung pauwi na ako kasi katatapos na tayo mag-health and freedom ng mga <laughs> downline. Di ba? So, focus on you muna. Tsaka, besides, after today, eh, we're going to have a training on June 3, I believe. Diba? After the training, I'm telling you, you're gonna have uh, not the second thoughts, but ten thoughts before you get into a relationship. Kasi mas madali kayo gumawa mo na ng pera. Sa totoo lang. Sino dito you want to travel? By yourself muna. You, so, just go wherever. Diba yung parang nas, parang naglalakan ka lang sa Enzo, parang sa ko ba gusto po ang tatulit? Diba? Kasi parang, I wanna go to Maldives. Diba? Who wants to go to Maldives? <laughs> Do you know that all you need is 100k and you're there? Diba? 100k and you're there. Maybe 120 kung ikaw mag-isa. 
So you've got airfare. So can you imagine if you like you have a million bucks in the bank that you can spend anytime? And today you can just say, I wanna go to Maldives. I wanna go to El Nino. Sino pamilig sa beach dito? Sino may kamag-alak sa ibang bansa that you really wanna visit? Anong country to? Anong country? Sa US? Saan siya sa US? Hindi mo sure. Siguro close kayo na. <laughs> Is this a close sister? <laughs> Parang parents ko po sila. <laughs> San Diego? Ikaw ang saan? Australia. San sa Australia? Sa Melbourne. So kung titignan mo na, you have relatives that you wanna visit. Sometimes the home stock and is money. Now maybe you'd spend your money, may pera kasi kung sa bako, pero you're thinking, I'm not gonna spend 90,000 or 100,000 to visit my relative because I have money, I have things to spend that 100,000 on. But if you had an extra 250,000 pesos in the bank every year, you have extra to spend for travel, you can visit them every year, diba? and go elsewhere every year. Diba yan mong, pero once you're in your needs. So if you have a, sino may family naman dito? You have a family and you have children. Tapos ang kamay. You have a family, you have a spouse, you have children. Tapos ang kamay. Higher, higher, higher. Okay. Sino dito yung mga single moms? Single moms. Tapos ang kamay. No spouse but you've got kids. Tapos ang kamay. Okay. Di ba na ako ba na siya yung sinabi ni Soto about you guys? Di ba na? Oh, in sweet bingo, kayo yung na ano. Diba? But in street lingo, kayo yung mga walang problema sa buhay. Because you've got a kid and no husband. <laughs> diba? Na parang, ah, walang sakit sa ulo. No, no one's gonna say, anong breakfast? Diba? Mag- magpa-deliver ka sa Jollibee. Diba mukha ba akong cook? Washing machine na nga ako, cook pa. Walang diba? 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 Ikaw ref, kasi malamig ang puso. Wow! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> because if you've got children, if you're a family of two children, spouse and two children, the it's 120,000 that you have to have per month gross income for you to live a comfortable life. And comfortable is not even luxurious. It's not. It's comfortable. May pambayad sa kuryente. May pambayad sa schooling ng mga bata. Maybe may kuwanting pang travel na. I think mga 15k or 10k per month ang naka for travel dyan. Medyo may konti kang panghulog sa, sa retirement fund mo. 120,000 pesos per month. Sino dito yun? That's how much you earn in your job. 120,000 or more. Meron dito, I'm sure. Dali mga taga-video. <laughs> so, I told you. Ikaw lang yata. Ganun level. So, now why is this important? It's because a lot of people are poor. A lot of people are not happy with their financial status. And some of you, I'm sure, you're also not happy with your financial status. Maybe you're okay, but you're not happy. Sino yung ganun? Okay naman yung income, but I'm not excited about my income. Tapos ang kamay, hindi ito yung income na gusto ko. Higher, higher. Di ba? Parang it is not the income that's going to bring me to my, my trips or maybe my house or my savings or a great lifestyle when I retire. So, if you're, with that, you're not happy, then maybe the reason why you're here is because you want to create income. So I don't get it if you're here and you're not working. Because you're employed, tapos this is supposed to be something that you're doing on the side. Now tonight, let's talk about why is this important? Why should you have this? Because a lot of people, their attitude about Usana is it's something part-time and extra income. Two million pesos per month is how much the top earner of Usana Philippines earns. Roughly, it can be 1.9, can be 2.5. That's not extra income. It's not extra income. That's once a month. Makano yung income nyo ngayon if you don't mind? Kay Niraj, how much do you make per month? On the average? 1.1 M per month. Saan mo pa ganyan-ganyan lang sila? Pasandang-sandang lang si Pindu. Ganun-ganun lang. Hindi ba? Eh kaso hati pa sila doon. Di ba? Hati pa sila doon. So malamang sa iyo mga how much mo? 100k. Tapos iba, hindi kasi magbayaran ko yung car ko and everything. So, parang kanina, hindi mo yung lifestyle nila, di ba? Raj bought his mom a TV set. 
So that's not a problem in your house, you're going to bring it home because it won't fit in this, in this Camaro. <laughs> I bought a TV set that doesn't fit in my Camaro, <laughs> so I'm going to have to like look for someone who can like deliver it to my mom's house. So I said, how much is that TV? 42 inches. 45. 49. Sorry. 49. <laughs> so 49 inches is roughly, because this is 36, so this is 46. Yeah. Oh. So she can play Dota. She <laughs> <laughs> say, like, pity my mom, because her eyesight's not that good. So I, I got her a big screen, so when she plays like Dota, um, she won't have a hard time, you know? That's the retirement, right? No, it's a curse. Then I was going to go to Raji, I was like, What are you doing? I was like, 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 but white screen, and then they're going to go on white screen. So, I don't know if you're going to play Tani on white screen. Diba? O, tapos, iba may eksena doon. They're both in the car. Naalala niyo niyo, because it's teeny. Diba? Tapos gagano'n yung kamay niyo. Do you remember that scene? Diba? It's so huge. Tapos, the mom can just stand here. Diba? Parang, ano mo niya? Ano yung sabi? Oi! So, mom? Ang babata niyo pa! Oh, so ito ang pumatang siya, parang pera yan! Sa ano yan? Ang daming advantage ang malaki ang TV, di ba? Or yung mga asa. O sa feeling mo, kasama ka na yan, di ba? That's right, Tony! No? tulungan, siya kasi papatulungan. Pinag-resign ba naman yung parents? Ang lusog-lusog ng parents. Ang so, pinag-resign yung parents mo? Kasi pagod na sila eh. Sinabi ba nila na, ano, pagod na ako sa trabaho. Hindi naman eh. Akala mo lang pagod. Ang sa akin, don't let your parents resign. Don't let them retire. Let them work. Tapos yung money na ibibigay mo sa kanila, save it in the bank or invest it elsewhere. And when they tell you and it's time, na sabi nila, alam, parang I wanna stop uh, working. At least nakapagtabi ka na ng pera sa kanila. Kasi they're working, so that's the income that they're bringing into the family and bringing for their retirement. So don't let them stop. What you do instead of letting them to, uh, allowing them to stop working, start a savings account for them. So that when they retire, sabi mo, well, it's okay, ma'am. Pwede na kayo mag-stop ng work because nang kami na ako mag-check to save. Okay? Who wants that? To save for their parents. Nung mother's dead, ang binigay niyo sa mga nanay ninyo. Card. Text. Selfie. Tara, ma, happy mother's dead. Selfie tayo. O, tapos ipopost mo. Di ba? I love my mom. Talaga. But selfie lang. Anyway. So, we're talking about needs, wants, so you want income, so you better start making a decision tonight. Anong balak mong gawin? Di ba, what do you want to do? Now let me just show you a chart. This is X and this is Y. So this is income, okay. 10, 25, 50, 100, 200, 500, 1, M, 2, M. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 years, okay? If you're currently employed, if you're an employee, you're here, to 25. 
How many years have you been employed, ma'am? On BDO, ma'am? You know, ma'am, ma'am. Ma ma How long? BDO, sir, is just 15, but cumulative is 31 years. 31 years. Do you remember how much your first sweater was? About 1,800 pesos. Per month? Per month. <laughs> oh, um, sige. Ano yung sasabihin niyo pa sa'yo? May edad mo siya? May edad mo siya pa rin sa'yo? My first... Sino ito first time akong makita? Tapos ano may? First time to see me? Hmm. You guess my age. Not her age, syempre. Diba? Tapos 1,000 something. You guess my age. 40. Sino pa? First time akong makita. You guess my age. Really? With my Jordans on? 45? <laughs> really? Ito. Si yung first time ako makita. You guess my age. 43? Pwede na. I'm 50. So my first... Yeah, I know, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's 50? Who among you would love to be 50 but you only look 30? Who would love to be 100 and you look like you're only 60? Hindi ba? Yun ang panahal. And that is what our products are about. Because it's anti-aging. It will stop your aging. It nourishes your body, it nourishes your cells, so your cell doesn't die. That's what allows you to stay youthful for a long, long time. If you take a lot of your products, if you... Today, uh, uh, anti-oxidant. <laughs> Bukas, kinated me. You know, <laughs> para matipid. Actually, the census, tumatagal sa akin yun, mga six months eh. <laughs> Kasi pag naubos na siya sa fifth month, pinaglalaro ang may yung bote. <laughs> may tira pa ito eh. <laughs> Kakatawin mo pa ng tubig, di ba? Kasi may power yung gusto sa iba. Mayroon ito. Di ba? So if you want to look for long my life, ako personally, I spent my whole auto order basically. <laughs> It's for me. Because that's essential, Scopinol, uh, Biomega, Visionex, Procosa, Calcium. Um, ay, nakakadalawang, dalawa, tatlong bote ng Scopinol ako in a month. Nakakaisang bote, dalawang bote ako ng Procosa in a, in a month. Ang essentials ko, mga apat hanggang anin in a day. Na pairs in a day. So, kung marami, hindi talaga ako mamamatay. <laughs> Patay na kayo ko ha. Imagine yung ginawa ni Dr. Myron Wentz. I mean, he has cells, human cell cultures in a petri dish which has been alive for decades. Ang nilalagay niya lang doon would be the mixture lang yung what's in essentials. That's why he created Isana. To have a pharmaceutical company that actually makes those tablets for human consumption. Yung sa kanya kasi na-discover niya in the laboratories, but it's, you know, it's in liquid form and it's for the, for the human cell cultures. But these human cell cultures, they're not connected to people. It's just cells that he keeps alive. They don't die because of that mixture. And that same mixture is what I put in my body every single day. Di ba? Tapos I'm single pa. So no spouse. No worries. No problem. Di ba? Tapos sabi ko, but you don't have kids, di ba? Yeah, but my sister gave birth to my nephew who looks exactly like me. And I have like, di ba? And I have nine nephews, they don't look like me. Itong isa, baby pictures hanggang ngayon, he looks like me. So sabi ko, tapos na, eto na yung tagapagmana, di ba? <laughs> so lahat ng mga pumangkid ko, they're like, nandaya naman, no, change your face. <laughs> It's not my fault na pangpapang yung nanay mo. <laughs> eh, ito talaga, nung, nung nasa, nasa, nung two years old pa lang, I saw my baby picture, sabi ko, eh, we're, we're identical. So it's just weird, but my, I'm with my sister, I'm carrying my, not my kid, I'm carrying my tagapagmana, <laughs> and then sasabihin, sasabihin sa sister ko, na, ay, siya ba yung tatay? Parang, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> diba, what kind of a sick family do you think we are? <laughs> Oh, wala akong anak. Diba? Ito yung sperm ko. Diba? Gawa ka ng bata para may tagapagmana ko. So for me, no stress at all. Pero hindi ba sinasabi ba't parang hindi ka tumatanda? Because I was employed, I left employment in 1996. And it's actually more hard work to start a business, to do a network marketing. Kaya lang, because you talk to a lot of people and what we talk about are dreams. 
here you talk about a plan gusto mo makasama sa US trip. Sino gusto mo makasama sa US trip sa August next year? To see the, the, the Utah, to see Utah, Salt Lake City. Who wants to go there? Nasa pa kayo. <laughs> Tapos builder pa rin kayo ba yun? You're gonna be, you have to be gold this year. And it will be maybe by April next year. So that pagpunta mo doon, you have money. One month income, splurge it. Sabihin mo, oy, magtipid naman tayo, not me, I have 300,000 to spend. Because I'm me, you're not. <laughs> Apin na lang kami sa room mo. Di ba, mga ganun, may papabiyahe walang sila sa kwarto para makatipid. Ang sa akin hindi, dalawa tatlo sa kwarto dapat have money to spend when you travel. Ang hirap nun, you're attending the convention at 7 in the morning, tapos sa kapila kayo sa kubeta. Di ba, parang, uy, matagal na mag, sa start na yung convention, ha? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Now, no one wants to take a shower, di ba na parang may peanut butter sa mga na parang may buto. Di ko, di ko na papa. So this is 100,000, 25 years. Okay. Now, this is employment. This is you. But because you got promoted, Katama? Do you think may mga kasama ka sa industry ninyo na at this point hindi sila the same position as you are? They're medyo clerical pa rin or maybe supervisory. So malamang, magkano ang sweldo mo? Less than 50. Less than 50? For 25 years? No. Pathetic yan. 25 years. Mm. Parang God gave you a valuable life. What did you do with it? This is you. These are you. <laughs> Pero dahil hindi kayo pala ng income, they're just acquaintances. <laughs> yeah, because birds of the same feather flock together. Yung nasa ilalim, di ba? Parang, ah, matabang di pala. <laughs> so that's employment. 25 years. So if you're currently employed, and kung ngayon hindi kayo kumipita ng 25k, after 25 years, this is your level. That's it. And that's the reality of it all. Ikita ka ng malaki, be an executive first, but you know, in your company, you only become an executive if you've been there for quite a while. Tapos eto pa, how many people can be VP for marketing? Are you VP for marketing? What's your name? Operational risk. VP for... A VP for operational risk. <laughs> so, ilan lang ang pwede maging VP for operational risk? Isa lang. Isa lang ang VP for marketing, isa lang ang VP for finance, isa lang ang CEO. Yun ang problema naman sa structure na, and then sabihin nila, ang isa na pyramiding ba? Hindi, ang kumpanya mo ang pyramiding. <laughs> President, VP, Assistant, VP, Operations Managers, Managers, Supervisors, and Slaves. <laughs> <laughs> diba? That completes the whole pyramid of Egypt, diba? <laughs> Pharaoh on top, diba? But that's the reality of it. You can't have, you know, ikaw deserving ka, deserving ka. So, you're a vice president. You can be a vice president. Lahat kayong 20 vice president, di ba? There's no such thing. Tapos, agawan ba yan? Dito ka lang sa, sa negosyo ito makakarinig ng people are aiming for the same income. People are aiming for the same rank. Because there's so much room. Anyway, like, you can be Emerald and your downlines diamond. And his downline is one star. You cannot have that to corporate. I'm the president, I'm making one million per month. Tapos yung VP ko makes two million. And then my operations manager makes three million. Hindi pwedeng mangyari. It's always like that. Kaya nga, I laugh when people say parang, is that not a pyramid? And I say, but your company is a pyramid. In fact, your company is an oppressive pyramid. Diba? Kami, we're not even a pyramid. Diba? Or a sphere. <laughs> or a cylinder. <laughs> diba? Pag pili naman yun. Tapos ang volume pa gano'n. Diba? Hindi mo siya linyan pa gano'n. So, a cone. Diba? Or a cone. <laughs> Pero hindi rin cone. Because cone means you have someone on top. And pag gano'n, hindi. Because someone below can be bigger than you. Diba? So, we are a tumor. Oh, it's a shape. But we're growing. <laughs> Anyway, so what if 
Um, you started a rank and file. So some of you are starting to 1,000 to 3,000. Please start here. And when we accept it or not, all you have to do is just ask your co-employees na medyo matagal sa kumpanya, more or less magkano sa position mo, magkano binibigay ng kumpanya. That's really not huge. Kaya lang, may mga tao talaga na you can blame people because from kinder to college, that's how we've been mindset, be employed. Because why did you take up BS management? You become a manager in one of the companies. Why did you take up engineering? So that you can be an engineer in one of the companies. Why did you take up business management? Not to manage your own business, but to manage someone else's. Unless you have like a course in entrepreneurship. And only a couple of schools in the Philippines really gives a good course on entrepreneurship. I think one of them is um, UAP, University of Asia in the Pacific. They have a really good entrepreneurship course. You can only graduate and get your diploma when you start a business and it starts making money. That's the only time they give you your... So, kailangan meron kang concept, meron kang napatayong negosyo, na kumikita na lang, pero then you get your diploma. Yun ang totoong kurso. Iilan lang yun. Everyone else is developed to be a worker. Who are the ones who get rich? The business people. Now, who are the business people? The ones who own the big corporations. And then their children will study management. Not to be employed, but to be employed by another company. They'll get some of the ideas there. They'll get some trade secrets. And then go back to their company and start working as a board of director. So, which means, eventually, you have to migrate from becoming employed to becoming a business person. Na gets ninyo. And when we were young, Peter Robert was always telling, Robert Kiyosaki, he would always tell us before we, you know, pag mga merienda, ganyan, kwento siya na, um, employment is good, but you have to have your own business when you, wait, so sabi ko, tama yan, Peter Robert, tama talaga yan. Patanda, nagawin ko talaga yan. So he said, it's employment, self-employment, business, and investment, di ba? And all the multimillionaires are here. Nasaan ang Yusana? Yusana is here. Now, Yusana is a business, not an investment. Now, what's the difference of Yusana versus other businesses that you can put up? Number one, Yusana is direct selling, multi-level marketing. It's probably the cheapest in terms of capitalization because for less than 50,000 pesos capital outlay and maybe 100,000 of panggasos for maybe six months. That's 150,000 pesos that you you spend, pero ang balik niya, you can be gold on the sixth month, kung masipag ka talaga, or on the fifth month. So that means you're making a net maybe of 100,000, 150,000 pesos per month. Kasi hindi siya buong income na makukuha mo, kasi you've got expenses also as well, di ba? Ngayon yung capital mo na 50k, anong nangyari doon? Naplock mo yung products. Because I don't tell my downlines to sell the products. No. Use the products. Sell it maybe to a relative who has diabetes, or cancer, or hypertension, or you know, um, anything uh, respiratory illness, or yung mga mahilig lang talaga sa sports, or people na medyo madaling mapalo. Sell it to your relatives, and make sure that you use it first. Don't sell everything, because you have to be able to use the products, because that's the point of m, &M. You use it, you love it, you share it. How can you share it if you don't love it? You cannot just memorize what you want to talk about, you know, to say about your product. Yeah, it has to be something that you really, really, really experience. Halimbawa, I used to get gout, which I thought was a sprain. So that happens mga twice a year. So I take Flanax for two straight days, every four hours Flanax. And I know it's bad for the kidney and the liver, but that takes away the pain. I'd rather na mas madamage ng konti, at least maayos ang lakad ko, di ba? Ganun din, madadamage naman yung mga legs ko kung ganito naman ako maglakad, di ba? Ano pa lang? Sandali lang, tapos baka masagasaan pa ako sa kalsata kasi go na, di ba? So, sandali, kung nalil ko, sakit na rin yung mga. At di okay na yung nagpa-flatans, di ba? So, at least, makakalakad ka ng maayos, sasabihan ka ng mga kaibigan ko, okay naman pa ako, oo, nag-flatans yata ako. Oo, nag-flatans yata ako. Kaya lang, nalilalize ko, kasi when my friend saw my phone, sabi niya, that's not a sprain, but that's gout. Ang sakit pakinggan na nagsasupplement sa kanya, I have gout. Hindi pa basta ako anong sakit. Gout. Talaga parang sakit ng matatanda. Gout. Diba? Ang talaga niya talaga, rayuma, arthritis, gout. Tapos sabi ko, what? Tapos sabi niya, di ba you have like, you have something for your joints? Oh man, that's right. So the next time it happened, I did not use Flanax. I just drank three to four 
um, tablets of proposal every four hours. Every four hours. Talaglak-lak talaga, di ba? Lions ka, gaw, gaw, gaw. In two days, nawala na siya. And it, it hasn't come back ever since. So now that, sino nakaranas na dito ng gaw? Gaw. Sino nakaranas na dito ng spring? Na sa sobrang sakit ng paa mo, hindi mo may iapak sa sahit. Can you imagine yung moment na yun na ang sakit tapos biglang siyang mawala? Yung feeling mo na parang, ay, salamat. And yung feeling na nung masakit pa siya, parang I pay anything. Mawala lang to. Kasi pag gano'n kasakit, pati pag may adjust mo, di ba? Ayaw talaga. Pag sa'yo mo, meron siya, oh! 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 Tapos nasuot mo na yung medyo, ipapasok mo pa sa sapatos. Di ba? Oh! 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 Tapos sa mapasok ko sa sapatos, hindi ka pa talaga makalaban at maayos, di ba? What happened to your foot? Fuck you! Maraasal ka lang, di ba? Maraasal ka lang. What happened to your foot? Pag ganito ka maglakad. Ang sakit talaga. So when I saw that, tapos ginamit ko yung proposal, oh guess what I do now? Every time I have a friend na medyo may konting problema sa joints, you can just imagine kung anong klaseng kwento ang gagawin ko about proposal. Hindi na siya kayo umamit ka ng proposal, hindi. Ikikwento ko yan from the time na I was taking flanags. So ngayon, sila ang gagawin nila, get ka na start talking. Sige nga, patry. Kasi iba yung brochure lang ang ginamit mo. Ah, meron kayong gout. Ang maganda po dyan ay essential. So, hindi. Iba ang kwento. Pag ikaw yung nakaranas and then you start sharing it, how you do it is different. Tapos ako, like, 45, 40. Tapos minsan, pag, pag bagong gising pa ako, nagpagkama lang pa akong 35. Or nagpagkama lang po akong 22 minsan pag nakadaya ko lang ako. <laughs> With my rattle. <laughs> so, pag ganun yung... When, when, when people ask me how old I am, and then I say I'm 50, and they bakit ganun? Okay, so yung kung paano ako nakikwento about cellular nutrition is different for someone who's young. Then you don't take the products to stop aging. You're just taking the products maybe because you're with you sana. So when you're a user of the products, you have to look for a product that you're going to be really crazy about when you talk about it. Because that's the whole essence of network marketing. It's not even selling. I, I'm sure you teach your downlines to sell. I personally do not sell. I don't sell. I order. I present and then order ka man lang ng ng dalawang ng essentials. No. Every time I present, ang binibenta ko sa'yo is the whole program, the, all the products. Naglalabas yung iba ng 80 mil para magpalay po. Ito, 42,000 lang. Lahat ng sales mo cover. Lahat ng sales mo cover. Naglabas ka nga ng 50 mil for your laptop eh. Tapos sa sarili mong katawan, ay hahayaan mo lang na nag-degenerate yung katawan mo. Tapos yung, yung laptop mo bago. Tapos look at you. Diba? Ang problema pa lang yung iba, nagpapaskincare kay Menor. So mukha siyang bata. But that's kind of scary because mukhang bata sa labas kasi may, may, may procedure na ginawa eh. But your skin is a reflection of your internal organs. So kung matanda ka na but your skin is still good, more or less yung internal organs mo, okay pa rin. E balat na balat yung mukha mo because of procedures, hindi mo rin masabi kung so what's going on inside. And you know, I think the liver is, tama ba? Correct me if I'm wrong. The liver is the organ that doesn't have nerve endings. So if there's something wrong with your liver, you can't really feel it. It's, malalaman mo na lang, malalana. Di ba? Balot na pala ng taba yung, yung, yung liver mo. So, ang sa akin, if you spend a lot on gadgets and clothes, I think you should spend a considerable amount of money for taking care of your body. Because you don't want to grow old that you really look old and you're on a wheelchair. Diba? You want to reach 100 years old, looking like you're 50, diba? and you're still in the club. Diba? Nandun ka pa rin kasama mo yung mga anak ko na. Hindi ba? Yan, pag medyo wala ka ng joints, ganyan na lang sa'yo. Sino yung Nicky Minaj? Di ba, hindi ka lang pwede kung may hand up on the... Di ba, wala ka lang gano'n? One way, take up, one way, take up. 
Doon kayo sa dancer, ayun, nabubunggo ako doon. Alam ko ba ako? Tapos yung mga sabi niya, eh, mali yung seminars elsewhere, at nagugulat sila na bakit kilala ko si Chance the Rapper, bakit kilala ko si si David Kent, bakit kilala ko si Drake, bakit kilala ko si Taylor Swift, bakit kilala ko si Rosa Rosal. Kasi I know everyone. Di ba? From young to death. Di ba? So, ano sa akin? Ano ba? Seriously, ito ang mga grow old na you're old. Tama? Yung mga grow old na the only thing that grew old with you was your wisdom. Di ba? Na parang people are gonna be like, ang bata-bata ko, ba't parang ang tanda-tanda mo nang mag-isip? Kasi I'm 150 years old. That's right. And you're just 12. Diba tayo magkamukha pa rin tayo? Hindi na ako na katakot, di ba? When I attend reunions, that's what I love. Because you get to see your classmates older than you are. Na yung ito yung mga nagtatawa-tawa sa'yo when I was in my 20s and I was in another MLM company that was also selling good seller nutrition products. Not as good as Susana's though. But they also had good products. So doon pa man, I was really conscious of the products that I take, na I don't take local products na chiki pie, chiki pie, for the sake of taking it, you have to take really good products and you really have to spend. Some, some people say it's expensive. Well, so was your phone, but you bought it. Diba? So were your shoes. Diba? You bought it. You just have to have the commitment to spend on yourself. And this is a good business because yung pinuhunan mo na 50k, kahit ginamit mo, kumikita ka pa rin ng pera, you can't do that with a food card. Diba na kinain mo lahat ng fishbowl na nalang mo na sa off? Tapos bakalik lang yung pera. Parang balik yung pera mo. Kinain mo. Diba? Dito hindi. Inubos mo lahat. Mas huwag ka pa pa magkwento. Diba like, my eyes, thank God, my eyes are still clear. I'm 50 years old, I don't wear glasses. Diba? So I can read. Like, I can see your molecules. I can see the virus in the air. So this one is, we're not pushing you sana because we're you sana. It's just the most logical business that you can join. Diba? It's small, capitalization is small, you can learn how to do it. Kaya lang like, yun nga lang, that's where the, that's where the similarity, the difference ends. Now the similarity is, all businesses require effort. All businesses require skill. All businesses require that you know what you're doing. All, all businesses require that you give the same amount of time. Like if you're willing to open a restaurant and stay there from 7 in the morning till 12 midnight, you're gonna have to do the same for your Yusana business. And when some people fail at that, na parang, ha, grabe pa lang time, ay, asa mong sweldo mo? Magkano yung gusto mo? Ito. So let's say you open a different business, huwag kang mag Yusana. Kasi sometimes I have a friend, Ayaw niya mag-isana, pero nag-open yung punyeta ng card <laughs> ng potato <laughs> corner. Sabi ko, ba't ka nag-boss ng potato corner with his retirement money? But he had a big retirement money. I think he spent something like less than 200,000 on that potato corner card. Sabi ko, ba't ka ng potato corner card? And he goes, kasi gusto ko naman makapagbigyan ng opportunity sa ibang tao magkatrabaho. Sabi ko, sana binigay mo na lang yung 150k mo sa kanila. Because may trabaho nga sila and you're paying them a salary. But that potato corner is not going to make as much money and make you, you know, rich. And so I don't get it. Sana binigyan mo na lang ng letter of recommendation sa, sa shell. Tapos doon mo pinagtrabaho sa mga istasyon. Doon yung trabaho na yung tinatawag ng potato, potato corner. Sabi niya, kasama rin siya, doon yung kikita siya ng pera. Sabi ko, it's not going to make a lot of money unless it's, it's a mall, it's right beside a movie house. The location is very important. Ngayon, wala na yung kanyang price na potato corners. Pero siyempre, I don't want to tell it, I told you so. Kaya at least I think sa parang, ayaw mo mag-usana pero okay ka mag-potato corners. Sana binigay mo na lang sa akin yung 150,000 mo. And we splurged it. Di ba? Sana nag-amantulo na lang tayo. Di ba? Nang ilang araw. Di ba? Kasi nag nagpakahirap ka pa. Ang kahit anong negosyo, number one, titignan mo, mag-feasibility study ka. Malaki ba talaga ang pwede kitain dyan? Yan ang puto ng tatanong yun eh. And the potato corner, magkano kikitain mo? Siguro 60, 70, malaki na yun. But is that the income that you want? Di ba kung hindi, maghanap ka ng negosyo ng malitang capital, malaki ang balik. And it's network marketing. May pili ka. Which network marketing company are you gonna choose? I would always choose something that's international. Not to put down the local companies, but if you want to do network marketing, you have to do something that it's long, it's, it has to be long term. It cannot be in five years time, biglang wala na. 
or ibang kumpanya na. Like there's this company, I won't tell you what the name is, pero ang product nila is... Yun ang product nila. So ngayon, yung, yung president nila left the company, put up his own company, na ang product nila lang din. So naghiwalay sila ng kumpanya. O di parang ngayon, if that's a local company, paano if you were a member there, now you're torn? Saan ako? Dun sa original company, sasama pa ako sa presidente, where, where am I gonna go? Tapos this other company, in the middle of the game, biglang binago nila yung presyo ng kanilang kit. So siyempre yung mga members, well, magkukana natin mga mindset mo na tao na from this price, magiging this price. Yung yung problema, if it's a local company, they're still growing. So they're still learning. So nasa learning curve pa sila. This all has been around since 1992, which means you're joining a company that's already mature. And sometimes, <laughs> you join to a company that's already mature. Diba? Which means, nadaanan na nila yung growth curve. Nadaanan na nila yung trial and error. So now, they're at that point, pagano na, ang isa na pagano If this is your chart, Um, 20, 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Anong year kayo sumali, Raj? 9. 2009. So, nakarelate kayo dito. Not much growth in the first 3 to 4 years. Ang boom talaga siya 20, mga ganun, mga 2011, 2012. That's where it started to move up. <coughs> Bakit bigla siyang nag-boom ng mga 2011? Because I arrived. <laughs> Nasa hula yun, ha? Nasa hula na may darating na suko na A lot of you are joining and you know, we're here. So you don't have to go through that process of it's a learning curve and I, you know, I have to learn it because it's trial and error and everything. You're now in the, you're, ito po sa sabihin na, this is what I don't get. So, mali kayo dito kasi pioneering stage. So, they're gonna steal your downlines and or convince you to transfer them. Pioneering stage. So, lahat ng mare-recruit mo, downline mo. And I'm thinking, nasa yung sana na nga siya eh, na ang dami na ang result, hindi pa nga makapag-recruit. What makes you think na pag hinatak mo yan, papunta sa kumpanya niyo, makapag-recruit? Eh, lalo na dyan, wala pang result. When people say, malaki pa yung kumpanya, in pioneering stage, eh, kung wala yung result, hindi ko sa yung sana, wala rin yung makikreate. So, please, by all means, get him. Diba? Hindi pa rin na dyan. May letter of recommendation pa. O sige pa dito yung mga walang production na gusto nyo yun. <laughs> Doon yun, yun ang palubugin nyo. Na kumpanya. Mapabigat kayo eh. <laughs> That's, and people get convinced. They get convinced and they shift. What they don't get is the best time to join a company is when the momentum is going up. Kasi may result na eh. So when you bring people in, they see so many people with Better lives, nicer houses, and the travel posts that they see on Facebook, it's just crazy. Diba, kailan lang may bora-bora. Now there's Dubai. Diba, samantalang yung ibang mga kumpanya, diba? Oh, um, Batangas. <laughs> Maganda naman sa Batangas, but I mean, compare it naman to bora-bora, diba? O yung iba na sa Dubai, yung ibang mga kumpanya naman, diba? Chocolate Hills, diba? Nakakabali yung upline, diba? Yung ibang mga kumpanya Dadali ko mga downlines ko dito, di ba kakayang ko yung tar shares. <laughs> so this is where you wanna be. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. This is where you wanna be. Then the next question is, baka saturated na yung yung sana. You cannot saturate a company na ang product is something that people take to make sure that they don't die. To make sure that they grow old gracefully. To make sure na mamanage yung kanilang cancer, mamanage yung kanilang diabetes, mamanage yung kanilang hypertension. The pharmaceutical company is our market. That's our market because we have a pharmaceutical grade product where other companies have a supplement that's only food grade. Ang atin, it's pharmaceutical grade. Which is why we're now, we're now ranked platinum by the competitive company. That's why we've always been by Wolfgang Editor's Choice. No, not anymore. We're platinum already, which be it's just Yusana and others. <laughs> diba? So if you're not Yusana, nasa others, kaso yung ibang kliyente ko, kasi I also do seminars for other evidence, hindi ko naman pwedeng sabihin na, kaso ang Yusana, 
Ay, platinum. So, when they ask me, maganda ba ang product namin? Maganda kasi sa comparative guide, it's three stars. Di ba yung pamit is half star? One star. Di ba? Kaya in my head, I'm like, no, it's good. It's not the best in the world. Di ba? But it's good enough that you can sell it na maninis yung konsyensya mo na you're not selling a bad product. But I don't want to build a business just because and my product has to be good. No. My product has to be the best in the world. So, wala kang kalaban. Now, there's no competitor at all. Like when I have a friend who said, masiyang sa akin ng ano eh, masiyang sa akin ng unicity. And I'm like, but that's just freaking three stars. So you need to say masiyang sa katawan niyo yung mga low quality products. Oo, ano ba? So you know. Eh kaso, how can you find that? You just go to the next consumer. Di ba? Ay gusto niya yung unicity. Ang maganda naman dito, when people start using yung sana, lalo na people who can afford it, they get hooked. Now, that, that's what you want to create. You want to create thousands of people who just want to use the products and then share to some. Now, going back here, when people say, is it, you know, um, can you sana be saturated? Maybe not in the next hundred years. Not in the next hundred years. Kasi tingnan mo yung behavior ng yung sana. Kaya nga, yung nakapunta, yan, si Ken, si Larad, si Ryan, nandun sila nung sa Utah, nung nagsalita si Dr. Oz, sabi niya, he was amazed because Yusana is a company na yung product nila was already on top. Na malayo sa competitor. And still, inayos pa nila. Ginawa pa nila ng sales essentials. So sabi niya, bihira sila, he's never seen a company that when it was at, that, when it was at its peak, doon pa sila nag-decide na, let's make this even better. So ngayon, now you're very, very far from your competitor. So kung mag-negosyo ka na rin na naman, parang it's crazy if you want the low quality Product. You want to make a product that's really, really good, na wala kang kalaban. Agree? Yes! Now, if you're in USANA, first year, maybe 50k. You're kind of lazy. Second year, let's say gold. So that's somewhere in here. Third year, maybe here. Fourth year, half a mil. Fifth year, sixth year, maybe 1m. And then 2m. Now, take a look at the discrepancy. Ah, dito pala, so. Here. Okay. Look at the discrepancy. From zero. In what? Four to five years. Making one million pesos per month. Because if you have the right skill, if you had the right system, you'd be making a million bucks per month. I'm starting my team, I started developing my training materials for my crew last year. And I start, this year, I've, I've been talking to my friends already na gusto mag-Yusana. Kasi pagdating ng June, I'm going to start uh, building my organization because I'm running after the deadline for my uh, million dollar club, which is 10 years, within 10 years dapat of your signing up. Eh, nag-sign up. Nalaman ko lang yun last year na 10 years pala yung allowance. Akala ko hanggat mahit mo, pag nahit mo, may award ka. Eh, nag-sign up ako 2011, September 2011. So, I only have up to September 2021 to finish my 50 million pesos. Pero may mga sales na naman ako kasi 1 million CVP, um, 1 million dollars ang hinahabol mo. Meron na naman ako na gold kasi ako ng 2014. So, may 4,000 dollars na ako na nakatabi. So, konti na lang, kaya ko na yun. So, that means for me to hit it, I have to be at least Emerald this year. I have to be at least two-star diamond next year, by end of next year. I have to be mga three-star, four-star diamond by end of 2019. Plus, I need to have Emeralds under me by end of next year, diamonds under me by end of, of, of um, 2019. Kasi kasama ang matching bonus, kasama ang leadership bonus, so all of that. So when my friends are telling me, sabi nila, ang hirap mo na, and I'm thinking, if you're ignorant maybe, or you're not confident, you don't know what you're doing, mahirap siya. Kasi it's not easy. But I'm a trainer, eh. so I've got the skills, I know it, because my milk pa was burst when I was a <laughs> kid. So, mas lamang na ako sa nag-pro-meal, di ba? Mas pro-meal as artificial nutrients na yun sa amin, puno fresh, di ba? So my point is, can you imagine, kasi iniisip ko pala, hindi ako papayag kasi na ito yung dalawang to, magkakaroon ng million dollar star, tapos ako wala. Million dollar club sila, ako wala. Tapos I've been my town nights there, di ba? Tapos sabihin nila, ang nanikam sa nung star mo. 
Ano sabihin ko? Ay, hindi ako pag dito. Bumili ako ng constellation. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you have the Jopet star in the katabi siya ng Jopeter. <laughs> right there. <laughs> one of the movies of Jupiter na it was renamed after my my failed run for me <laughs> Hindi ako papayag na ganun kasi these people, diba, I've been with them, I've been doing seminars for them. Sobrang nakakahiya. So sabi ko, that's something that I'm not going to. Um, I'm not gonna let that happen. So my friends are telling me, so that's 50 million that you're gonna have to, to earn in three and a half years. Sabi ko, yeah, and ang pagpinda pa rin, that's part-time because I still do seminars on the side. Kaya when you know what to do and you actually do it, can you imagine having an income in, fa- Ayaw, in five years time of one million? Pesos, that's slow. No, that's slow. If you know what to do. Parang you just took your time, di ba? Because in five years time, you should be one star. Tapos dapat meron ka ng mga at least apat limang ruby emerald under you. Yung matching bonus, that gets a million bucks per, per month. Nung empleyado kayo, have, did you ever even have daydreams of tapos dapat next year, nag-half a million pesos na ako per month? Hindi. Kasi alam mo na ang increase sa inyo is 10% and sometimes it's every three years. And that's the reality of it all. Diba? Tapos sasabihin mo, tas, eh, so, but how come you cannot choose to do, you sign up properly and you're still stuck with your job? Because the programming has been from kinder to college. So you cannot shake that off very, very, very easily. But how do you shake it off? Do the business consistently, whether it's once a week, twice a week, thrice a week. Just make sure you do it on a consistent basis. It's like school. Diba? Like, P if P is once a week, diba? it's just once a week. CFP is... <coughs> You know, military training is once a week, it's once a week. You just do it once a week. And then after a year, you, you learn a lot. In this case, kung ako sa inyo, it's not once a week. Do it at least thrice a week. And dapat laging may result. Showing up here with no result is useless. Diba? So you have to be, you know, once a week, at least a tw- three times a week, you have a guest. So that's three guests na quality every week. Do you follow? Yes. So in a month, that's 12 guests. And let's say you have one to two pains per Per, per month. So it's still, it's a bit, parang bit, yeah, it's still better than wala kang production for six months kasi pabugso-bugso ka lang, di ba? No, you set a day, make it consistent until it becomes a habit. Eto pa. Paano pag meron ka ng apat na active after two years? And then sila naman yung nagsabing, apply kaya ko mag-hold kasi nagpo-full time naman ako. So that motivates you even more. Then baka ngayon twice a week ka na or twice a week. Kaya you don't have to resign. Kasi di ba nandito naman, but you're not as productive as you should be. Di ba? So might as well if you're currently employed, stick to your job. Di ba? Keep your job. But at the same time, you make sure that you're doing this, you're doing something on the side. Now, can you see, how much do you say, what if gumanito ka? On your 10th year, you're done. Because this is your excess earnings. And you retire. With 100 million pesos maybe in the in your investments, tapos maybe you're making 5 million pesos a month, di ba? So, hindi mo maubos yung 5M per month. Di ba? Kasi ako, hindi complete ko na yan. Because by next year, I should be making 2M per month. Because it's seminars plus my USANA income. Tapos it's plus 1 million every year, di ba? So, at my fifth year, I'd be making something like siguro mga 4 to 5 million pesos per month. <laughs> Maliit na ng gastusin ko per month. Siguro, what? 400 kasha na. Diba? Hindi naman ako maluko. Diba? Hindi, <laughs> kasi 400 kasama na doon yung, you know, yung expenses mo for your condo. Siyempre, you're gonna be spending for your downlines. You eat out. Diba? Kasi siyempre, wala ka ng time magluto. And to do stuff, you just wanna enter a restaurant and eat. Diba? Tapos siyempre, every, every week, you wanna, you know, relax and stuff. So that's, and you're making 4 million pesos per month. You spend half a mil. You have 3.5 million per month. It's getting invested. So that's like 40 million additional savings every year. Tapos hindi ka pa tumatanda. So what are you, di ba? Tapos at 80 years old, you're probably making what? 20, 30 million pesos per month. Tapos you look like you're only 50. You're going around the world talking to the USANA community saying I'm 80 years old. Look at me, I'm only 50. And whatever you made in employment for a year, uh, I made just now. <laughs> and another one, just now. <laughs> you know, just now. Because if you don't find for someone who's making uh, 10,000 pesos per month, 20,000 per month, that's 240,000 a year. 
If you're making 5 million pesos a month, that's like 20 divided by 20. So that's basically like what two days ko na income is your income for a year. So who, what did I save? I saved a lot of time. Not only that, and I saved myself. Diba? And without the stress of employment, now I'm really not going to age at all. Diba? Nag-gets you. Kasi nakaka-age kaya yun, you're working the daily grind in the traffic. Diba? Kahit nasabi mo nakaupo naman ako sa loob ng FX, diba? Still, that's stressful. Kasi pag traffic, nakaganito ka, magpagtatayin na. Ando na si boss. Re-report pa ako. <laughs> oh, nakaupo ka nga lang dun. Oh, Pagkansalang, di ba, yung katabi mo, chill lang siya. Kasi kung doktor siya eh. <laughs> so tapos sa yung trabaho niya. Tapos na ko siya nakonekta. O pakiabot paki na lang po ang mga ba. <laughs> tapos na yung role niya sa buhay. Di ba? Kaya mo, when, when I meet friends at the end, yung job parang you're not growing old. Malaking factor yung I don't have a day to five job. Malaking factor din yung I talk to people with big dreams. Iba kasi yung kwentuhan dito sa Kisana. Yes! Yeah. Di ba sa trabaho ang pinag-uusapan? Ay, nandiyan na si Boos! Nandiyan na si Boos! Nandiyan na si Boos! Yun ang pinag-uusapan. E dito ang pinag-uusapan. Ops, congrats mo naman ako ng kuhalay pa pa. Oh, Dubai. Dubai. Yeah. Oh, Dubai. Oh, Dubai. Oh, sa kumpanya, ang pinag-uusapan. Yung bonus natin, may kasama kaya sa Dibola. Nakita ko yung basket. Nakita ko yung basket sa office. Grabe, may kaya sa Dibola ngayon. Tapos may sumang pa dalawa. Tapos yung piso ng kapi, yung porte. Nakakabali. Nakakabali. I know that's offensive for people who are working because you're gonna say, grabe naman to. Pero the reason I can say that is because pinagdaanan ko na yun eh. So I know what that feels. I know how it feels to be employed. Pinagdaanan ko na yung decision to do network marketing part-time while I was employed. So naranasan ko rin yung, shucks, ganito pala kalaki ang income. If, even if you do it part-time, as long as you know what you are doing. So that is why you're here. That is why Frontier, Frontier trains you on a regular basis. Kasi ka do the business tapos bara-bara lang or madali lang siya. Hindi siya madali. Kasi kung madali yan, hindi dapat lahat na kayong goal. Di ba? Hindi siya madali. Mahirap siya tapos mang-mang ka pa. Di ba? It's like when you're new in your job. You know what mang-mang means, di ba? It means you're ignorant, di ba? Pag bago ka sa trabaho mo, tingnan mo, kahit na-graduate ka pa ng engineering. Sino mga graduate ng engineering dito? Taas ang kamay. Oh, nung first day niyo sa trabaho, what was your first job? Anong first job mo? <coughs> Auditor. Pero ang, traba- ang course mo, engineering. <laughs> pero, na- pero nahalala ko yung process audit sa operations. Parang meron. Anong kumpanyang, what company? Construction. So, anong nahalala mo ba yung first day mo? Yung first day sa trabaho, nahalala mo? <coughs> Hindi na. Hindi ba? Ito yung trabaho. Yung mismong nag-work. What's orientation? You're in the seminar room, di ba? So, ang gusto ko. Hindi na ito. Saan ang trabaho? Saan ang trabaho? Saan ang trabaho? Saan ang trabaho? Saan ang trabaho mo before? Sun Power. Sun Power is this a solar cell. Naalala mo ba yung first day mo? Sa trabaho! Sa trabaho! Ito sa orientation! Yung nandun ka lang mismo sa sa workplace. Naalala mo ba? Anong feeling ng unang araw? Kinakapahan. Or alam mo naman yung trabaho. More or less you know what to do. Kaya nag-share ba yung company news? Mga papa, mga papa pa. Second day, wala ka masyadong kilala. Diba? Kasi so, yung, yung, yung feeling of uncomfortability nandun sa trabaho ba? So, pag nag-iusahan na ka, it's basically the same thing. <coughs> Tapos, ang gagawin niyo pa, tsa-tsapahan niyo lang yung trabaho. Hindi. You really have to learn it. You have to study the products. Kasi, minsan, I hear, I hear people say, dapat malunong ka mag-handle ng objection. Pero, tinatanong ko, ano yung objection ba na 
pinuturo din sa daw na ito. Number one, wala akong pera. Is that the number one objection? Yes. Number two, wala akong oras. Number three, ayoko magbenta. Tama? Yung ba yung tatlo? Yes. O, oh, iniisip ko naman, may problema doon. Bakit sinasabi ng kausap mo wala akong pera? Ibig sabihin, hindi ka trinay na kausap mo dapat may pera. Kasi it's money means authority network team. Yan dapat ang quality ng recruit. Tama? Eh, hindi po sinunod eh. Ang kinuha mo mahira. O di ngayon, mga problema ka ngayon sa... sa hindi kaso may pangarap siya eh. Kaso ang pinag-usapan nga natin, hindi pa sinunod ko sa'yo. <laughs> At dapat, money means authority network need. Ngayon, maghanap ka ng pangarap na may money means authority network need. <laughs> Simple, hindi kasi tinuro sa'yo nung start. Hindi in-emphasize noong umpisa. Sino dito may prospect is? Tasan na ba yun? Ito yung totoo ah. Sino dito yung apply mo, tinignan mo yan talaga yung prospect is mo. Tapos inisa-isa niya yan ah. Sino to? Anong trabaho nito? Ba't mo to simula? Yung totoo. Sino yung... Ako, mamatay na ang mga linya ninyo. <laughs> sino yung ginawa talaga ng apply ninyo? Inisa-isa yung mga pangalan. Sino to? Anong background nito? Sino? O, tamo ako isa lang. Sino ang apply mo? Panalo naman. It's a sign. It's a sign. O, si? O, kayo hindi. O, di kung sino-sino ngayon ang pinagtatawagan-tawagan ninyo. Hindi nung trabaho dapat tingnan yan. Apply ninyo. Diba? So, ngayon, ang akala kasi ng apply ninyo, pag sinabi nilang right down ng prospect, is gabi mo, That's not how it goes. You write down that list and then I am going to check it. Di ba sino to? Because I don't want you to call this person tapos hindi naman pala qualified and then you'll ask me to present and I just wasted my time. Di ba? I want to present to someone who's gonna say, so kaya na ako pwede bumili. Right now would be a good, ano, would be a good time because open pa yung counter upstairs. Tara! 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 Ganun dapat hindi yung gawa natin ito ng paraan. Di ba dalawang kidney mo? Tara! So, pero going back, do you, does that make sense to you? Yes. Sino nakaka-relate to it? Huwag na kayo magtaas ang kamay. But that's the whole point. You want to do something, but you're not doing it properly. Then you don't get the results of your So if you want to succeed in this business, ano ba yung, what's the formula for success? You can shout it out. What's the first, uh, what's the first factor? Goal. Plus, Plan. Plus, action. Until you get the results you like. So, you, you, when you enter Kisana, hindi ko din, I do this part-time, blah, blah, blah. Hindi. I joined Kisana, I want to be making 2 million pesos. On the fifth year, dapat I'm making 2 million pesos already. And dapat makapag-accumulate ako ng at least 100 million pesos in the next 10 years. You have to have a clear goal. Kasi ang ginagawa ng iba, I'll just, you know, work hard, and then kung kailan na lang ako mag-goal, it cannot be. Negosyo siya eh. It's weird for someone to start a business and you're not even clear as to how much you want to get out of it. Nangapital ka ng 50 mil, magkano yung gusto mo kumbalik. Because it's not capital that you're putting in here. It's also your time. And for me, that is very valuable. Pangalawa, what's your game plan? How do you make 1 million pesos per month? How do you make 2 million pesos per month? The only way to do that is through organization. That's all. Meaning, hindi pwede ang goal mo lang ay mag-diamond. You want to make a million bucks, dapat diamond ka. Siguro meron pang apat na diamond. Tapos yung apat na diamond mo, meron siguro silang tig-apat na ML. You follow what I mean? Yes. This is organization. 
So this is what you're building. So wag kang mag- magsaya na gold ka na. Because gold is nothing. Ang kailangan mo nga, 120,000 per month and gold is just 200,000. So it's just a little bit above what's required by Mega for a family of two. What if you have four children? Or what if you want to live abroad or you want to study abroad? Your kids want to study abroad. So the standard mo is higher. This is what you're building, structure. So to get to that structure, where do you start? Ikaw to, you start with PPS. Tama? Tama? Yes! Tama? Yes! You start with PPS. So I just find it weird na ang next step, after PPS, anong next step pinapagawal mo sa downline? Yeah, but um, in fairness, yeah, that's what people always say. That's not the way to do it because kung ang unang goal mo was structure, the next goal, should the next plan should be structure also. Kasi hindi, uh, pag sinabi mo to be director, that's income. That's not structure. And income is just a result of structure. Na gets niyo? So ang next, first step is mag-PPS. Second step, mag-PPS ka ulit. Tapos ito, mag-PPS. Yan lang pa ulit ulit. That's all. Let yan lang. Naintindihan naman siguro ninyo, no? ito yung four lines, ito yung gano'n. Ginanan ko lang. E yan yung next na mangyayari. Ang next na mangyayari, may eight weeks na naman. Mag-PPS ka ulit. Ito, mag-PPS ulit. Ito, PPS ulit, PPS ulit. So wala ka yung ginagawa, kundi mag-build ng tao. Kasi copy build, syempre, yung, yung produkto nito is points na mag, magkikreate ng income. Yung income ang nagbibigate ng rank. Ay, hindi ko mag-gets yung from PPS, ang next goal is director. Kasi saan magagaling yung director? Di ba sa production tsaka sa organization? Ba't hindi mo na, ba't una, gino, una, hindi mo naman goal yung achiever or builder? Ang goal is PPS. So ang kailangan mo lang doon, kasi that's a very smart structure ng USANA. Just go for numbers, go for organization. Because the organization is such as number of recruits. It's also 1,600 points that you have to create. So you just replicate that. So that's your plan. Build your organization. Kaya yung mga tumayo na mag-gold, tinatanong ko, ilang tao, ilang linya. Because can you imagine, paano ka mag-gold sa matinong mong tao, tapat lang. Tapos dalawang linya lang. That's a massacre. Diba? Kaya lang tapos eto pa, may tinanong pa ako kanina. Tapos may nag-meet kami kanina ni Ryan na nag-run siya for gold. Third week niya na ngayon. Tapos tinanong ko siya, ilan ang direct mo na sponsor last week? Ang sagot niya ay, wala. So ang tanong ko ngayon sa kanya, parang, paano ka mag-gold na meron kang na, nag-run yung downline so may production, pati ka wala kang pay-in last week? So ano yun? Ginamit mo yung downlines mo na mag-produce para maging gold ka? So basically, you're not working yet. Hindi ka nag-gold. Because what you're doing in this business is you're, you're, it's non-stop sharing of the products and the business. That's it. Anong trabaho mo? Ang trabaho mo sa araw-araw, ikikwento na gumamit ka ng isa. Yun lang. Kanina doon sa Uber na sinakyan ko kami here. The guy was 50 years old. Tapos nag apply siya dito. 13 years na siya nagtatrabaho sa New Jersey. Nag, uh, pagpunta niya rito, hindi siya tinatanggap sa trabaho. Sabi niya, siguro kasi 50 years old na ako matanda na when I'm overqualified. So sabi ko, malamang. Sabi ko, ba't di ka kasi mag-sales? Sa mga edad na natin na 50, dapat nagsisales ka lang. And then to be interested sa kanilang sabi niya, you're 50? Sabi ko, yeah, but I look like I'm 35. <laughs> it's because of my mid-sales. And when you're in sales, it's a dynamic business. It's something that, you know, you meet different kinds of people. Tapos you own your time. Sabi ko, huwag mong i-goal mag-work. I mean, ang ganda ng bosses mo kanina sa phone. Tapos now that we're talking, na lang, I knew that you had a big position in the States. <laughs> Parang I feel that, you know, you're gonna waste your talent if you just go back to employment. And he was ready to accept a 35,000 peso na sweldo sa one of the coffee shops to be a store manager. At 50 years old. Di ba, 35 din. Sabi niya, at least may income because the wife is also working. So we talked about sales. Sabi ko, sales ka na lang. Sabi niya, like what? Sabi ko, like insurance. Di ba? You can just make two sales in a month and that's already 40p and then you're at home. Di ba? And then, yung family natin, ganyan, ganyan, or we're 50, so our relatives are already into it. We've got children, blah, blah, blah. And then, and kinento ko, ayun ko, sabi niya, what are you, 
I don't work on my enterprise. I said, I'm doing training for USADA because this is another company that's really huge. came from the States. I'm sure not even one And he goes, hindi pa, I haven't heard it yet. <laughs> and the wife is in the call center industry. She's a manager there. Pero sabi ko, alam mo, tas kinento ko, sabi ko, that, that guy I'm coaching, that, that his team, in 2011, he was making 400,000 pesos per month. Tapos, eh, nakastop kami. Sabi niya, did you just say 400,000? Sabi ko, ama, in 2011, and now he's making at least 2 million pesos per month. Sabi niya, <laughs> and I go, and I'm doing it, I'm building my organization this year because it's really big money in our our market because we're in our 50s, our market, this is our business. People who are sick, people who don't want to die, people who don't want to get sick, that's our business. And then, we talked about thank God for a heavy, for a heavy traffic kanina talaga. So we talked about the situation here in the morning. And then eventually, sabi niya, alam mo, let's talk about it, sabi niya, tapos he lives in Kainta, he drives Uber, sabi niya, let's talk about it, tapos sabi ko, let's have dinner with your wife, tapos let's talk about it. This is really big money. So sabi niya, sige, sige, such a blessing, so nagpalitan kami ng, ng number, di ba? And they're all around us, di ba? Kaya lang, he don't talk about it every day. Nakakaupo ka doon sa UV, nakagalong ka lang. <laughs> Pag-ising mo, basa na ito. Kasi <laughs> kinis imagine ko anong binibyo sa'yo kanina. <laughs> 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 because they're all around you. Ang trabaho natin is to talk about it. I'm willing to bet some of you have never even spoken to a stranger in the last three months. To talk about it. Why? Because you're lazy? No, because you don't have skills. You don't have the knowledge. Hindi mo alam, how am I, how are you going to start a conversation? The market is all around you. Hindi ba that's frustrating? It's all around you, you don't know how to tap into. Kaya kailangan mo ng skill. So to build this, tingnan mo, marami sa inyo ang daming pay-in. Pero nawawala. Tapos yung pay-in nyo, hindi siya ng 3 PPS. Why? Kasi pwede nyo competent, your skill level is creating uh, recruits. But you don't know how to duplicate. And that's again another set. It's like after elementary, now there's high school. Before you go to college. This is elementary. This is high school. You cannot do high school things with elementary education. Hindi pwede. Do you follow? So this one, what do you need? Dito ang kailangan mo lang go setting, um, prospecting, invitation, presentation, closing the sale, that's it. Game planning and maybe fixing your schedules. Para lumalim ito ng ganito, what do you need? You need to know how to train, monitor, coach, motivate, make your schedule, lead your downlines, um, create incentives for your downlines. So, magkakaiba yan. Before you reach Diamond, dinaanan mo na dapat yan. Who among you would love to hit Diamond? Dadaanan mo muna yung PPS. PPS, that's your first test. Every eight weeks. Ngayon, kung full time ka, it's PPS every four weeks. Because to not have a pay-in every week and you're supposed to be full-time, what are you doing? Diba? You're wasting your time. You're not treating it like a real business. Wala akong kilala na bukas ng grocery tapos pag Wednesday bilang sarado. Ba't sarado? Nanonood po kasi si Sir Sarano. Green belt naman. Nanonood sila naman. Guardian na galaxy. Two. Two. Yun ang pinanood nila. Hindi pwede ka nun, di ba? Nalagin bukas yung negosyo mo. Pero tingnan mo, sa'yo sana, ambisyoso nyo. Gusto nyo kumita ng malaki. Pero gano'n, padalas ako kayong nasa negosyo, din yung nagbabantay. Hindi pa araw-araw. Tapos pag nasa labas ka pa, hindi ka pa nagkikwento. Ang trabaho mo magkwento. Pag nagustuhan nyo, you present the business. Sa pa product? The business. Tapos the product goes with the business. Tapos yung pangatlo pa, na sinasabi yung objection is, wala akong oras, hindi totoo yan. Lahat ng bagay, hahanapan ng oras, hindi mo lang na-convince. Hindi ka lang mukhang convincing. Sa anong ibig sabihin nun? Kulang pa rin talaga pa ng skill. Pangatlo, sasabihin nila, ayoko kasing magbenta. Ang unang-unang sinabi mo pa naman na six ways to earn is retail sales. Ako, I never talk about retail sales. I never tell you na kailangan mo magbenta. Hindi mo kailangan magbenta. You don't have to sell. If you want to make money, ikwento mo. Gamitin mo, ikwento mo. 
Ang hirap talaga pag malapit na yung Pasko kasi ang dami namin fiesta, birthday, handaan, Christmas parties. Tataba na naman ako. And I say, ako dati, ganun din. Kaya lang now, I have a shape that I drink. I have a weight loss shape that I drink. Na it prevents you from becoming hungry. E nung araw, iniinom kong shake, ayaw kong inamit kasi lasang susta dyan. Okay naman siya, kaya lang alam mo may kuwanting gamot kasi hindi siya parang Milo. Susta dyan. So gusto mong inamin, pero hindi parang, it's more like, para sa pagpapapaya. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, papayat pa ako. Papayat, papayat, papayat. Itong bagong shake na iniinom ko, as in, strawberry shake. Not strawberry, strawberry milk shake yung nasa. So I just mix it with ice, with a little water, no milk. And then three scoops of my weight loss shake. And you mix it for a long time. Ang nasa magbubbles, bubbles siya. And then when you drink it, Sobra sarap, para kang umiinom talaga ng strawberry shake. So may nang problema, minsan nakakadalawa pa ako. Tapos <laughs> ito, weight gain. <laughs> Pakadalawa pa ako. Pero like, nung nagpunta ako ng Boracay, when I go to Boracay and I stay there for 5 to 7 days, I gain 5 pounds instantly. That's what you do, you wake up, you have breakfast, sabi ng dada. And then, hindi ka patapos mong breakfast, pahingin ano, buko juice. Tapos after mo, inumin yung buko juice mo, so bibiyakin pa nila yun, so kain ka pa ng gano'n. So kayo may craving ka pa pa, pahingin ano, vanilla ice cream, di ba? Parang mapato mo doon sa buko. Tapos pahinga ng konti. Tapos after mo magpahinga, nag-iisip ka na, ano ka kain ko mo yan tangali? Di ba? So higit ng konti, kising ka ng tub, lakad ng konti, tapos upo, nilalim ng, ng ulo ng niyo. Di ba? Tapos you call. Isa nitong beef caldereta, <laughs> Tapos, eh naman may veggies. Um, tortang talong. <laughs> Mapuro karne rin, di ba? <laughs> Tapos, ano lang, half lang yung rice. So, bali yung mangkok, di ba? Half lang yung rice ko. Na garlic rice. With butter. Tapos, Coke Zero. Di ba? Para may effort na ba? <laughs> may effort na po ito yung talis. Coke Zero. Di ba? Tapos, so ito, kain ka. Nagbot naman itong kanti ng kandireta na to. Oh, di ba? Masarap! Mm, Facebook. Mm. Okay. Dagat. Di ba? Mm, masarap ng buhay. Five days to seven days na gano'n. So, tatama na talaga. So, sa lahat ng trips ko laging gano'n, except for this last trip, that I brought five na balot nitong Nutri-Meal. So, I packed them myself. So, tatong scoops per plastic, tapos sa tali yun. So, I just give them to the bartender. I don't eat breakfast. What I do is I give it to the bartender, titimplahin niya yung bartender niya, yelo, saging, and yun lang. Walang asukal, walang gatas. Strawberry, banana, shake. I drink it for an hour, and then I get hung at 9 in the morning. I get hungry at 2 in the afternoon. I save myself almost 1,500 calories from a really heavy breakfast. And it, ang panalo pa nun, Sobrang sarap kasi talagang strawberry ice cream yung lasa. So sabi nung kausap ko, she owns a restaurant. Kaya siya nagre-reklaman ito na taba siya pag Pasko. So she owns a restaurant in Rockwell. Sabi niya, sinasale stock mo lang ako eh. <laughs> Pati yung manager niya sabi, Oo nga, grabe naglaway ako dun ha. Tapos sabi ko, but it's really true. Kasi I'm sure you've tasted weight loss. She, this is so different, I'm telling you. So the girl says, dalan mo kami din to next week. Sabi ko hindi, dadalan ko kayo na nakabalot pag pa, pa mix niyo sa bartender ninyo. Uh, you put banana in it, so it's strawberry banana. So good. And sabi niyo hindi, oh, order na kami. So, oh, order na. And I just talked about the the shake. Eto pa, bigyan niyo naman ako ng referral ha, for those who wanna use it. Because if you give me four referrals, who refer also four, and they get this sibitership, hindi ba mahilig ka bumiyahin? And she goes, yeah. And I send you to Boracay for two. For four days. Just give me four referrals, so give me four referrals. Eh, kung magkakikitayin ko kaya, di ba? Two thousand dollars. Magkano yun? Eighty k? One hundred k? Magkano lang magpatala sa Boracay? Dahil kasi kumil. So kumita pa ako, sino nagtrabaho, sino nagpasok ng tao? Siya. Pero hindi niya daunay. 
No. <laughs> oh, so pala mo, pag nag-refer na siya ng apat, may makausapin mo na yun, di ba? Na parang, you really want to give them to me or would you like to be a distributor yourself? Because aside from that profit chip that I'm going to give you, and maybe, maybe if it's, if there are these people are there distributor, and she goes, kailan ang orientation yan? <laughs> Ayoko nga networking. Oh, pero pag ganun ang kwentuhan, ang next ko sa akin is, kailan ang orientation yan? So that's how you, every day, talk to someone, share the business. Sino dito may natutunan kayo today? Taas ang mamay. So are you happy and ended tonight? Yes! So it's wonderful to meet all of you, and this is what we're building. So yung kasi yung marami-rami pa kayong kakainin bigas. Kaya lang kung hindi kayo mag-umpis ngayon, kailan ba? Diba? Two years from now, na yung seatmate mo, na pareho lang kayo nung sa-start, eh, medyo Ruby director na, tapos sabi niya, oh, sinayang ko yung panahon mo, di ba? So, act now. So, that's the plan. Make an organization. After that, it's the action that produces the result. The action is affected by knowledge, skills, and actual action that you're really doing. So, on um, your, your team does a lot of training with regard to skills. So, don't just attend. Attend and apply. What you learn? The test, sino dito ang gusto talaga mag-gold within the year? Kasi mahaba pa, mahaba pa yung panahon. Ano mo ang test kung kaya mo talaga or hindi? Magpapay-in ka ng isang 500 points ngayong linggo. Monday lang ngayon. Ngayong linggo. Kasi yung masasabi, ay ang hirap, hindi ka para dito. Para ka talaga sa pag-i-empleyatan ko sa tumanda ko. Kasi hindi naman lahat ng tao are meant for you sana. Do you agree? Yes! Hindi lahat eh. Di ko sa mong sabi, hindi naman lahat kayo magsasaksin sa iyo sana. Yung iba sa inyo, mukha naman talaga kayo hindi talaga magsasaksin dito. Eh, mararamdaman mo yun eh. O, tingnan mo. Testingin natin. Sino dito yung may seatmate na feeling mo talaga walang, walang, walang mangyayari sa kanya pag nag-iyo sana siya? Walang mababang energy, mapang-ewan. Mararamdaman mo yun eh. Para, ah, ito, wala, ito. Sino? Huwag yung ituro, taas na ang kamay kung may katabi ka na gano'n. Taas ang kamay. At least wala, hindi ka naman nag-name names, di ba? Taas ang kamay, yung mga ganito. O sige, huwag na magtaas ang kamay, kayo ito na lang. Gumay ito lang kayo. Kung may katabi kayo, okay, one, two, three, go. Basta talaga, Kasi ako, I'm willing to bet, half of you are not gonna be here by next year. Half of you are probably gonna be here. One-fourth of this room is definitely gonna be gold by the end of the year. Yes. Oh, and yes, yes, we need one. Let's not assume, di ba? Because a lot of people attend trainings, not everyone's willing to implement. And remember, success is all about applying what you learn. So are you ready to apply everything that you know? Yes! On June 3, our session is going to be about the vision of your Yusana business. How to, what, what goals you really have to be setting until you get out of the rat race. Out of the rat race means you don't have to do Yusana anymore and it was just continue giving income to you and creating a, the lifestyle that you want. Um, sometime in August, we have the next PLA, the Team Leadership Adventure. Yes, <laughs> But you cannot attend it if you don't have downlines. You cannot attend it if you don't have downlines. Sino yung mga graduate na ng PLA? I'll if we're gonna run one, I'll require all of you to attend again. But not as a participant anymore. Diba? Sa likod kayo, you'll still be part of the exercises and get, but so that you're integrated to the new batch of, of Frontier. Yusana needs many new leaders now. So Yusana is waiting for the next group of leaders to step up. The Team Leadership Adventure is a four-day course and it's really to give you the tools that you need to become a effective leader. So who's ready to step up? Pero mahal yung course na yun, ha? Kasi like now, I'm running already for several this year. So iba na yung, iba na yung presyo ko sa so type before. So it's already, um, it's um, $14,000 na per... Like iba na... Or 14,000 CBP. So I think it's 16 or something, or 17. And we're trying to get a hotel to be your... Venue, di ba? Oh. Kung may hotel. <laughs> so, what do expect? So, are you ready to build your business this year? Yes! Are you ready to make your decision to make this graph your graph and not this graph your graph? Are you ready for that? Yes! Well, with that, thank you for being here tonight. I'll see you in the other 
seminars. But before we go, can you please tell your seatmate, panahon na, ngayon na tayo pikilos. Pikilos! Sa kapila rin, sa kapilang seatmate, ngayon na tayo pikilos. Okay, I just want to share, ano ko rin yung kantang ngayon? Because I've been listening to that song for the past few weeks already. Ano yung kantang ngayon? Yung kita si Valdez, na kinanta ni Rasel Nava, na ni-remake ni Angelina Pinto. But it used to be a Basil Valdez original. Hanapin ko siya sa Spotify and listen to it every day. Because the line that I like in that song says, Ituring mong kahapoy waring padaginip lang. Um, <laughs> Sample! 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 Okay, hindi ko kapisado yung kanta. Oh. Ituring mo! <laughs> But the words are really good because it says, Ituring mo ang lahat o yung waring panaginip lang Bukas pangitain ang ganda ay sa isip lang Kung bawat na yun mo sa'yo ay lagi sulit lang Ang ganda ay buhay Bukas mo'y matibay Dahil ang sa'yo 